Today I'm going to show you how I created this scrolling image gallery using Elementor Pro. A few weeks ago, I made a watch me work video where I created this whole one page website. If you haven't already watched that, you might want to check it out. I thought I could get into more detail about how I created this image gallery section because I think it's pretty unique and maybe it's something that you could use in a future project. Let's talk about the overall structure of this area. In order to get the sticky column to work correctly, we need to set things up right. I started by adding a two column structure to the page. Then inside those columns, I've added intersections. We have to add intersections because you can't make columns sticky. It just doesn't work right. Within the right intersection, I'll place my text. One thing I like about this layout is that you have a bit more flexibility and room to add text. There are a few limitations with the gallery and slider widgets that are built into Elementor. You wouldn't be able to do this much text or format it this way. This definitely gives you a lot more freedom. Now that I've added my text, I'll move on to the left column. Using multiple intersections, I've added my images. Now this is totally customizable. You don't have to add multiple intersections like I did and can totally just add images to one main intersection but I wanted to use a variety of both portrait and landscape images in this area and have everything line up nicely side by side, as you'll see here. That's why I use multiple intersections, but what you decide really would depend on the images you have and how you want them laid out on the page. I've also added captions to all of my images to better describe them. One of the things that I really like about Elementor's image widget is that they give you the ability to create custom captions, so I took advantage of it. Now that I've included all of my images, I'm going to go back to the right column. I'll click on the intersection, then go to the advanced tab. This is where I make the section sticky. Under motion effects, I've selected sticky top. I've only made this section sticky on desktop. If you try this effect, you can decide whether or not you want it to stick on tablet and mobile. I've also added an offset of 30. This gives the sticky effect some breathing room, Otherwise, it would be stuck right at the top, which I don't think looks as nice. One thing to click on is the stay in column button. This makes it so that the effects only apply to the main column that they're in. So this main column here. Once we hit the bottom of that column, the sticky effect will turn off and we can continue down the page. If I didn't have that clicked on, this is what would happen. That obviously doesn't look as great. And as you can see, the images on the left side continue scrolling while the text on the right side stays at the top of the page. I think that this is a pretty nice effect that isn't too hard to create. I hope you can use this in one of your future projects. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.